all right welcome back youtube family so we're back at it again checking out another car show uh we're in union city california now at kennedy park this is for the bay bombs car show it happens annually so we're gonna slide through here check it out uh see what kind of cars we can pick up there's a lot of vendors as you can see behind me as well a lot of people showed up so that's cool um hopefully we could get uh, some looks at a couple of good cars and then my family's here too so we're gonna try to locate where they are they have a booth here and we'll chop it up with them for a little while too so let's get right to it vendors a little toy vendor here for the little little dudes so yeah there's a lot of vendors here a lot of model cars hats and clothing and apparel as usual are you sure you want to get something here some jewels and some more model cars. Yeah, San Jose City Limits. That's nice. I like that. That's, that's sweet. That's your brand? Yeah. I assume you guys are from San Jose, huh? Yeah, we're from San Jose. Oh, okay. Yeah, we moved to Modesto a few years back. Okay, still repping in San Jose, though. Of course. That's what's up. You guys have a car here, too? Uh, no, we don't have a car here. Oh, but you do have a car, huh? Yes, we do. We have a 54 Mercury and a Oh, C10. yeah? Oh, none of these here? Uh, no, I took these. I, I'm a oh, photographer. you're a photographer yeah. too? All right. What's your Instagram? You got to have an Instagram, right? Yeah. Um, Shout it out to my... Um... Tierra Mia Photography and oh, Tierra right. Mia Apparel. All right. Tierra Mia? Tierra Mia, yes. Oh, uh, Tierra Mia? You want a sticker? Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, cool. So why don't y'all tap in? Tierra Mia on uh, Instagram, right? Yes. All right, cool. They got a lot of cool fits. Oh, you got San Jose in Stockton, huh? Yeah, we've made a... You got one for the town? You got Sac Sacramento? Yeah, we got Motown series? Yeah. No nothing for uh, for Oakland, huh? Uh, we did make a few Oakland ones. If you want to put in order, we could go ahead and Oh, some make. customs? Yeah, some custom ones. We'll have to make them. Okay, cool. All right, then. Thank you. There's a hat vendor here. Oh, you got some cool little hats. Some snapbacks. They all snap back? Yes, sir. Yeah. How much? Oh, five, uh, 25? Yeah, 25. How you doing today? All right, how are you? Trying to nice. stay cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> you did all this artwork yourself? Uh, I represent different artists, man. Okay. Yeah, this is nice. Artist. I like these uh, paintings. Yeah. You check out these paintings. And hey, you guys do the banners too? Yeah. Are these all one-off or uh, reproduction? They're all original paintings and we make posters out of them. Oh, okay. Oh, they're yeah. posters. I see. Yeah. yeah, these are nice. Thank you. Where can you be found? Uh, www.bombartshop.com, man. Okay, cool. Y'all check them out. If y'all into this sort of thing, he's got signs. Looks like wooden signs. They're painted. Bomb Art. Check them out. Bombart.com. All right, man. Good topping it up with you. So, as usual, a lot of shirt vendors. People selling CDs. Posters. The usual hats. But, yeah, I'm going to try to find my fam bam and I'll hook up with them. I, see, I think I see them right here. What's up, family? Uncle Robert, how's it going? Come say hi. Here you go. This your uncle. Say hi to go over there, give him a hug. Pound it. 
Pound it out. Pound it. There All you right. go. All right. That's, hey. I know, I How's it going? How you been? Who's out here? Mr. V here? There, there, there. Uh, if you, Does he have his own booth? You can see the car. You can see the car from here. Oh, yeah, he's got the car here, yeah. huh? It's where they're right in front of the car. Okay, cool. How are you guys doing? Looks like right. you, you don't have a lot of products left. Uh, you guys are getting ready to close down? Kind of semi steady. Okay. Uh, probably until it closes. I think it's uh, at four, six. right? Or is it six? four? I don't know. I don't know. I was assuming six. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is what I remember in the old days. They, well, they haven't been able to do anything like this in a long time. Oh, yeah, yeah. And here at this park, too. Right. <laughs> When they built this place, I was in high school. The, the, the hall there and this whole park. Yeah. And ever since then, there used to be usually some kind of uh, single de Mayo, you know, or uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, some kind of celebration. Yeah. All right. Hey, how, how you doing? How you been? Hey, what's up? Family, how you doing? Good, how about you? All right, you brought the car out? Yeah, it's in the corner. It's oh, in the corner. I just got oh, way, on way on the other side, huh? Uh, no, on the other side, it's just like, you keep following down these car row of cars. And just, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll get over there and check it out. You drove it down here or a trailer? A uh, trailer, but then I drove it from down in the other side of Union City, so. Okay, okay. So yeah, there's a lot of cars here. Um, Mostly old bombs and such. I mean, cause that's kind of the car show itself is uh, May bombs. So you expect there to be a lot of bombs. You know, the big fat fenders, um, old Mercs. Uh, but we do have some Impalas. There's an Impala over there. There's a Thunderbird. We got the Lincoln Town Car over here on the Hydros in white. But man, these cars are clean. Take a look at these things. These things are beauty. Uh, oh, what is Buick? Man, that Buick is sick. Look at that grill. That grill is so clean. Interior done. Dash all original. Yeah, these things are really nice. Look at the dash in there. Original steering wheel. Reproduction seats. Reupholstered. Got the louvers in the rear. This looks like another Buick. Yeah, so those are both Buicks. I guess this, these are all Buicks. This one's a four door. It's got the visor. That's cool. All right, so we'll keep going. We got a uh, Chevy Stylemaster. Or no, actually, this is a Fleet Master Woody. Got the rear windows that slide open. That's slick. Got plenty of room for everybody in this one. But yeah, this is a uh, Chevy Fleet Master. The original interior. Of course, it's been redone, I'm sure. Uh, what else we got? Got an old Chevy pickup. I'm really not sure what the year of this one is. 1937. Super shiny. They must have been polishing this. They don't even have dust on it today. But this thing is clean. They took the uh, Chevy off of the tailgate. That's nice. Smoothed it out. Fat fender. It's got the running board still on it. So that's one thing about the old bombs, um, the Latin culture, they like to keep the um, running boards on. So that's real cool because you could see what it really looked like back in the day. You know, they don't usually chop the tops or take the running boards and fenders off. So it's nice to keep the kind of original design. Oh, this is a nice Bel Air, four door. Looks like they just starting work on this. It's still got the patina. This is a 1953. That's nice. This you? Yes, sir. Yeah. You you've been working on it a while, or actually, uh, you just pick it up? A little project. Oh yeah, you just got it. We painted the top, interior, motor, okay. transmission, all that shit. Okay. Cool. What do you plan on doing to it? Sell it. You said sell it? <laughs> just fix a flip. Oh, all right. Know, just a quick little car. Okay. 
You got it. What do you got on the back? You got it just dropped or it's on airbag? It's on uh, five inch oh, hydros? lowering blocks. Oh, just lowering yeah, blocks? Yeah, it's on five inch blocks. That's it. Okay. Your sister was here. Me, I saw your sister. Oh, nice. Thank you. Yeah, they were here for a while. And, uh, All right, have fun. To, uh, Thanks. Yeah, so that's cool. Oh, Pontiac. You don't see a lot of these. Nice patina here on his 19. It looks like a 53 Bel Air, another 53 Bel Air. Yeah, that's got nice patina. It looks like they just glossed over that hood. You know, that uh, patina look is popular. I don't know how long it's going to be like that, but for now, I'm keeping my uh, old 33 rusty for now. And then uh, eventually I'll probably do the body work on it. All right, so we got a um, Oldsmobile here, Cutlass. Cutlass Supreme on the Hydros and the 13s. I apologize for the noise. We got the BART going down the tracks back there. So we right next to the BART station, uh, the BART station here in Union City. But yeah, this is the Hydros. So we're gonna keep it moving. Uh, I'm gonna stop real quick and take a look at this Buick Skylark. Now, remember, we're just doing a quick little pass through here to, to check out these cars. I ain't gonna have all day to spend here making my video because uh, I got my kids today. So we'll just do a quick little look here at this, the Skylark, because I love the Larks sitting on gold ones this one i think was at hot august nice but i can't be sure there's so many of these skylarks out now everybody's flipping these things we got the chevy impala wagon it's very similar to the one i recorded in sacramento except that one was on um airbags but no this is cool same color as the one too in Sacramento, I think. If you haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and throw a link to that one up above. Uh, but yeah, I did an interview with an Impala very similar to this. It's not the same one though. It didn't have visors. It had different wheels on it. I think it had um, Dayton's on it, if I remember. And it had uh, airbags. But yeah, I throw a, a, a link in the description, or a, a link above. If you want to check that video out that's clean another impala this one's cool i like this that's clean i like that all the attention to detail they got the little emblem over there in the middle between the rear seat uh clean the bench you can see the uh the lights the fog not fog lights the um spotlights inside the mirrors so those are the mirror housing for this impala and then it has like some spotlights up front very di very different all right so we'll keep it moving so they're not all bombs as you can see we got some pickup trucks here too a 91 slammed to the ground dragging dragging the ground is so low on some Supremes, the old Krager tie, uh, wheels. Oh, okay. Alright, so we'll keep going. I know my cousin has a car here, so we're trying to uh, figure out where he parked his at. So I'm going to keep walking until I spot it. We check out Tito B's old car. So let's keep going. This is clean. Look at the etch work in this bumper, y'all. Look at that. Look at that etch work. Tell me that doesn't take time and talent. Here too. That radiator support. Look at that. Even on the bat battery cover. All that etch work. Valve covers. Air cleaner. Etch work. Everywhere. Got the small block Chevy. Uh, pretty standard. Bunch of chromed out parts. Even the trim down the side, all etched. That's amazing. The wheels, all etched, the same pattern. 
Very cool attention to detail. This is clean. This is so sick. Even the visors inside. Look at that etch work. Look at that. On the dash. You see that? Center council. Everything's clean. I love it. And the trunk. Trunk lid. Susie Q. Look at that trunk. And then pumps. I got these uh, custom enclosures on the pumps. That's it. Check a look at that. Look at that. You know what it costs. Yeah? That's the X2? Damn. <laughs> it's like everything. Everything. Oh, they already awarded everybody? I don't know who beat it. Really? There's so many hours into this? Man. Who, whose is this? Me, right, bro. Is you? Yeah. Man, this edge work is phenomenal. Thank you, man. Who's doing that for you, man? That's clean. Crazy uh, cutting. Crazy Cuddy? Yeah. Is he from the Bay? No, Arizona. Oh, Crazy Cuddy out of Arizona? Diego, man. Man, there's so many hours in that, dog. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mechanically etching it or acid? It's all hand. They're doing people from the with, with like a Dremel type etch. Yeah, it's all, it's all hand. Oh, like damn. Like, yeah. Engraving. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I like your car, blood. Yeah, males and females are doing it. Crazy Cuddy, man. Hit him up. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, he has a whole man. team with yeah. skill. Oh, yeah. Well, I ain't got nothing that I got to put. I ain't got nothing to put that much money into. <laughs> That's that. That takes a special car. Yeah, yeah. But only you only put that kind of work into a special car. You know, <laughs> not just anything. No, that's cool, man. I like it. Well, thank you. You got an Instagram? No. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, speedy mufflers, man. Speedy mufflers? That's speedy your. Speedy mufflers. Yeah, six two. Six two. Uh, Suzy Q. That's the name of the car. Okay, six two Suzy Q and Bay speedy Area. mufflers. That's your shop. Bay Area speedy mufflers. Yeah. You guys own that shop? Knows, yeah, everyone knows it uh, by speedy mufflers. Yeah. Okay, where are you guys located? Uh, San Jose, Fremont, and Hayward. Oh, I'm gonna have to check yeah, you out. Yeah. I need some exhaust yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. Hit us up, man. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is a clean Impala. I guess all this etch work done here was done by uh by hand. Some cat in Arizona. But yeah, man, there's so much etch work on there, it's crazy. All right. So this one's a 53. Another Bel Air, but a drop top got the red and burgundy interior very clean <laughs> very nice all right so yeah I'm gonna keep it moving that was a clean Impala though with a lot of nice etch work uh, but I'm gonna keep it moving there's another one over here with some etch work I'm gonna look at I'm just amazed by how much detail they put into these bumpers I don't know if y'all can see that but That is so, so much work. Oh yeah, this one too. It's got the uh, the air cleaner etched out also. Got the gold top. And then the pedals are even etched. You can see the pedals down there etched out. It's a 63 in the pedal. Yeah, this is cool too. Oh man, this burgundy Impala drop top. Man, it's got like a dark, dark burgundy. Four pumps. Four pumps in back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, right now we're doing the small block. Typical small block. Yeah, so we're gonna continue on. Haha, <laughs> what's up, cousin? You guys out looking at the cars too? Yes. We yeah. finally went around to look at the cars. Oh, now the yeah. kids want to go play. Yeah, well, I'm about to take them over there too. I just got to get a little more footage, and now I can turn the camera off. <laughs> I'll see you guys over there. All right, family. So I just want to take this time real quick in the video to tell you guys I do appreciate you guys watching the video. 
uh, but if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to the channel I see about 70 5% of you guys in the analytics are not uh, subscribed to the channel, but you are watching the video. I do appreciate you guys watching, but if you could subscribe right now, that would be great. Um, it just helps me get up in the algorithm. The more subscribers I have, the more audience I can reach. Uh, and I'm really trying to grow this channel. Um, trying to get 200 subscribers or more. I would like to uh, hopefully get to five by the end of the year. So um, whatever you guys could do, could, uh, I'd be greatly appreciated of it um, if you could go ahead and hit that like button too that always helps um, it just expands my reach you know so I'm just taking time in the middle of the video to let you guys know that I do see you guys watching I appreciate it uh, but only 20% of you guys 25% are actually subscribed to the channel so uh, go ahead and take this time now to uh, hit that subscribe button so we're gonna continue on here and take a look at some more cars. Here's a Lolo right here. Special Deluxe Chevy. Drop top. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a drop top, so I'm thinking that's custom. Uh, but this thing's super low. We got the Bel Air 57 four door Bel Air. We got the 68 Impala. This one right here is my cousin's Tito B's. How's it going, family? Good. How you been? It's been a long time since I see you. You don't have the Camaro out? I've been driven the Camaro. In a long time, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since I saw it. It was like a light blue, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what happened yeah. to you. What's up, man? I see well, it's you nice got seeing a new you again. Ride. Yeah, you too. Yeah. <laughs> I see you got a new ride. New ride. All right, so this is uh, Tito B's old car. Uh, his son's got it here today. Tito B. Rest in peace. Uh, but this is ride right here. Clean white interior. It's nice. Got a kind of champagne paint. Even the license plate. Tito B, 68. Six, stars the limit in the window. Represent. Stars the limit. Sitting on the 13s. Oh, actually, they're 14s. Sitting on the white 14 spokes. Yeah, it's got the champagne paint sitting on 14th. I'm gonna see if I can find my cousin and talk to him about the car, see what he's gonna do with it. Sure. See if I can't get a quick little interview. All right, what's up, cousin? What's going on? You gonna tell me about the car? Yeah, it's a 1968 Impala. 1968 Impala? That's right. What, so what you gonna do with it? Man, right now we're just gonna get it cleaned up. And, you know, we're gonna fix it up, whatever needs to be fixed. Right now I don't even know what's wrong with it. It's like everything, but, you know, I, mechanic, let, let the mechanic know and he'll fix it up for me and whatever needs to be done. We'll, All right. We'll, and we'll do it. So. All right, for your folks out there that don't know, I'm with Mr. B here. Oh, no. He's my family, so, you know, I want to make sure we talk about the car that he brought to this car show. It's a 68 Impala. It's in what, what do you call it, like a champagne yeah, or a gold? Champagne, gold? Yeah, like a champagne. Uh, white interior, got the Coke white. You can see that there, representing Dakota. You know. Also representing Stars and Limits. Go ahead and check that out. Sitting on the four teams, the white wire. He's got the uh, white walls on there too. So, uh, you got any slap in here? No, nah, not right now. It, uh, I don't have nothing in here, no slap, but that'll okay. come soon. Once we get everything fixed, man, that'll come too. Okay. We'll get everything, man, but. Right oh, so now, you plan on putting some slap in it? Yeah, we go slowly but surely, but eventually we'll get that thing in there. All right, you, got, you don't got any hydros or anything on it? No hydros, heck yeah. Man, my, my pops would be juiced if he had some hydros on here. Oh, yeah? So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, and then one day we'll get the hydros. But... All right, will you do any work to uh, holler at your boy because, you know, I want to sure. slide through and um, document whatever you do to the car. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll keep that update for sure. Yeah, for keep sure. Yeah. Slowly but surely we'll get things done. Yeah, you, you make food too, right? Yep, yep. Uh, I want to come plug your shit. Yeah, Bistro Board on on Instagram, you know. Yeah, Every right. Friday, holla at me. Uh, right now I'm doing uh, barbecue, so... You know, tap in if you want your, your issue, get your plate every Friday, you know. Every Friday, he's serving up some hot plates. Yes, sir. So I'm going to put his Instagram. I'll put it right below yep. so y'all can check it out. Go ahead and tap into my boy here. Yes, sir. All right. Well, it was good talking to you, Mr. Yes, B. Sir, guys. Appreciate right. you. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, as always, yes, sir. I'll catch you around, homie. Uh -huh. if, you, if you do oh, anything, let's you know, like, yeah, see, right hit now, me up. We'll do some updates. Yeah, I'm just going to try to get the little stuff done first, and then just, you know, we'll do it piece by piece. and. Take my time with it, you know. I I got so much other shit now. I gotta, I gotta get done. Are you hustling though? Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> Welcome to the big boy club. You gotta hustle, man. Yeah, I know. It don't get any easy. You just gotta keep that grind, you know. Yeah, for sure. You'll do good. All right, family. Appreciate you guys. I'll All see right, you. I'll see you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so it was good linking up with my cousin, uh, checking out his car. So I'm gonna um, slide over here. It's about to end soon anyway, so I'll get a couple more cars and then I'm gonna end the video. Here from Dakota in memory of Tito B. Uh, his family is selling some right. merchandise, his CDs and T-shirts. We're talking about my cousin right now. Back here if you're interested. And they just wanted to remind everybody, Tito B did not make it through COVID. You know, we lost a few people along the way. So in memory of him, we're gonna do the rest of this music. Yeah, so they just uh, did a little shout out to my cousin. So, we rest in peace, need, uh, Tito B. License plate. You're a Raiders fan. Let's we'll check out these bikes Your real quick. Plate, I don't have zero, that many bikes on the channel. I had a couple BMXs. Again, but we're gonna take a look at some lowrider bikes real quick. I don't know if y'all into that. You could Tom comment below if you Chevy like bikes. Truck blocking the driveway. Um, if you're into the, uh, we need to get it moved. Please pass the If you're into the lowrider bikes, you just make a comment below and then I'll uh, way, feature so some please. more on the channel. But this one's clean. I like all the gold and the candy uh, flake paint. Here's another one. It's got some airbrush work here. Also by the Looks like a Egyptian theme with the pharaohs. They need to get in there also. We got the um, beetle there. I don't know. I think it's a scarab beetle. And it's a three wheel bike. So they got the uh, beats on back. Got the beats on deck. So that's cool. Because you're a winner. All right. So that's enough of the bikes. We're going to keep it moving here. Okay, here we go for last chance. Right, let's go check out these cars down this row. Green ticket. 394. 394. Man, it's hot though. I apologize if I'm sweating here on this All right, camera, but it's hot. It I'm up. sitting out here in the sun too. So I'm going to have to get out of this sun. But I see some cool cars right here. This one's got a big old scoop on it. A fat four barrel Holly. Small block Chevy. It's a big old like delivery wagon this is or like a station wagon. With some wrenches. With what is wrenches. this? It's a GMC Green 1952. Ticket. This thing's Green big ticket. though. Three, five, six. Yeah, Three, five, I don't know if I could drive something this big. But look at this thing here. It's got a parachute on back, so you know it's for real. This thing ain't, ain't playing around. Oh, 36 yeah. wheelies. Clean, has got the roll bar inside, so you know he means business. Got the race buckets with the harnesses, the Simpson seat belts, or the Simpson um, harness. It's turbo. I don't know if it's single or double. Let's see if it has two turbos. Yeah, so it's two small turbos. So yeah, this thing is uh, probably pretty mean. This is this turbo intake is kind of a trick. Um, it's got like some aluminum housing that mounts up to the front of the turbo for the inlet and it's got a um, injection system for a, probably a, a nitrous who's willies is this one of you guys i like that willies 
Oh, that, uh, you know that, what's funny? Huh? You know what's funny? What's that? Most people don't even know what a Woolies Next is ticket. anymore. That's, oh. that's a Model Green 77. Ticket. They made them from 33 Four, to five, 36. Mm -hmm. The one before that is called a Woolies Knight. And then the ones after those were, they got looking like a 40 Ford Coupe. Okay. Kind of, a little bit. But that's the last year they made that model. Oh, yeah? And One here, more time. Here a, Four, five, three. Green out, ticket. It came out as an economy car. Yeah. Gas was 12 to 15 cents a gallon. <laughs> so it didn't go over too good. And it's of, not the, it's of the first car to have the headlights built right in the fenders. Because oh, really? Because usually they sit on top of Don't do that. Thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's neat. And, and then, that's, that's got a... Is that a fiberglass front clip? Copy, curious or is that all machine. steel? Curious all steel? Machine, so it came like ready? that. You ready? Two. That's Green the ticket. 1978 Three, four, two. Hot Rod Street Rod of the Year. The centerfold and the car cover. What, 1978 centerfold for Hot Rod Magazine? This car right here? Yep. That's, Winner, nice. here we go. that's the United States Garcia. Championship car. Oh, sweet. That thing's been on the strip. It's not. It's a 19. It's the last year they built that. Yeah. That's the most expensive. That car right there. Yeah. Is the most expensive wheel in the world. Oh wow. The scale banks. You ever this is that? Uh, no. He made the turbo setup. The starting stick to cat. Double turbo Air bank for the streets. The car's got them today. Yeah, yeah. This was done four. in 1970. So you're saying that four. twin turbo was done in the 70s? Yeah. Wow. That was ahead of its time. Way ahead. Four. Three, and did four. I saw some port injections there? Was that is that nitrous? Nice. Do you actually take it on the drag strip anymore? You want me to show you the back of it? Sure. And this is of the very first independent front suspension, all machine made, uh -huh. and, and it's all aircraft quality. There's no like you know your rails are big steel tube. I mean, yeah. Big square. This is only lithium steel tube from the fighter aircraft. Really? Yeah. Fighter jet material on the front end? Wow. Those are some big bottles, too. It'll go as fast as you've got courage. Here's, what is that, 30 here's, pounds? Here's the frame rails. This is just a light part of the back suspension, and it gets real heavy underneath. So, what kind of material did you say that is? Molybdenum steel, too. Molybdenum steel. They use that for fighter aircraft. Used in fighter aircraft. It's light and strong. And you got the coilovers, I can see. Yeah. And it's very it's nice. Air I can adjust oh, the air ride. the front. Very nice. Is that your fuel pump? Yep. That's a big fuel pump. And it, but it's got a supply all. It's got a 460 inch small one. It's all special. A 460? Made. Okay. It's all made. It's got a NASCAR uh, so, nickel iron block. Is that from a 400? No, it's all made special for NASCAR. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's not based on a stock block at all? No. Okay. Very nice. It looks Pretty like you still got, uh, you got some nitrous in there, oh, yeah. so you're not playing. <laughs> They're not just for show. Very nice. I like that. And it's all 100% steel. Now look really? underneath here, and you'll see a killer suspension. Check out the exhaust. Was that 12 volt or 14 volt? That keeps the car from going left and right. It's got the four link suspension. That locks it in place. Very nice. Disc brakes. Those are some thin disc brakes. Where are yeah. those from? Those, those are all Willwood. All Willwood? The yeah. The fatty tires. Look at my hand. Look how fat those tires are. Uh, uh, the first car that's completely covered, meaning you get the big wheels underneath the car. So you've that's been doing this hot rodding for a long time, huh? It's got a, it's got a one and a half ton Dodge Dana Walker Oh, is that Dana? Is that Dana 60? Yeah. Uh-huh. Get okay. that. And it's it's been cut down to like and then it's got yeah. a real special filling axis that made the line in there. You got a beautiful car. I love it. It's got 1,175 horsepower. 1,170 horsepower. That's what it's been dying How much horsepower you say? Oh, wow. 1,000? 1,170.
175 horse. Don't forget that 175 on top. Yeah, because a thousand wasn't enough. A thousand wasn't enough. Stage nitrous. You want to see it? Yeah, I'd love to see it. All right, it was a great talking to you. Sorry to overtake that, man. No, that's all right. Oh my God. Look at the size That's of those like nitrous bottles. Like Tokyo drift shit. Yeah. Just to let it go. Yeah, that was a wild Willie's though. It was cool of him to chop it up with us. He talked real low though, so I'm not sure if y'all heard anything he was saying. Hopefully you did. He had some cool stories. Uh, he, I guess he's been hot rodding for a minute. Yeah, so we're gonna um, probably push through here real quick and uh, get the kids over to the park because they want to um, play. There's a playground over there, so we're gonna head over to the playground so the kids can play. All right, yeah, I ain't gonna look at any more cars. This is a cool Cadillac, though. Well, all right, family, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I wanna go ahead and thank you guys now for watching, and remember, if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell be notified of my next episode uh i'm trying to build the channel so come on hook a brother up and subscribe to the channel i don't know what y'all waiting for subscribing is for free you don't get charged for it and smash that like button too that's also for free um we're just going to throw that in as a bonus package uh so tap into your boy help support the channel and until next time peace